start off we'll make a slip knot by twisting this and bringing it over the long strand and pulling it through. Okay, place the slip knot on the anchor peg and tighten it up. Now, ordinarily when we do a drawstring cast on, we start wrapping uh, by bringing the yarn up through and between pegs 12 and 1. But I'm modifying this a little bit because uh, this little variation will make a neater closure at the end of the project. And you'll see that when we finish. But instead of between pegs uh, 12 and 1, you're bringing the working yarn between pegs 11 and 12. Then bring it over peg 1, behind 2, over 3, behind 4, and so on. And continue wrapping in the same manner around the loom. Uh, this is one of the variations of the drawstring cast on. And Tammy Rogers has a diagram that illustrates this. And I, even though uh, I came up with the drawstring strain cast on, I like her method of wrapping better than my original one. It seems faster and easier. They both give the same results, but this one's just a little faster and easier. Okay, that's phase one of the drawstring cast on. Phase two, knit over and just yarn over the second peg, knit over three, yarn over, knit over, yarn over, knit over, so on. Continue going around the loom until all the pegs um, have been knitted off. Now when you get to peg 12, you have this yarn that's coming up from the slip knot that's on peg 12. Do not knit this strand off at this time. It will be knit off on the first row. So just yarn over with the working yarn on peg 12 and then continue on to the first row. Okay, flat knit the first row. And I'm sure you could see this better if I held the loom like this, but I can't knit like that very effectively. So uh, I have a tendency to hold my loom looking down at it. Now, when you're knitting flat knit stitch, uh, I want to point out that I pull on the yarn, but when I start to bring it over, I let go the tension and it automatically will pull uh, the work yarn toward the back part of the loom. Now we're on peg 12 and now on this peg you will be knitting 2 over 1 and that completes row 1. For this pattern you will knit, flat knit, rows 1 through 4. So I'm going to go ahead and knit, through, uh, we've already done row one, so I'm going to knit rows two to four, and I'll meet you back at the end of row four.